his tutelage, without his influence on this community, we would not be seated here today. It gives me great pleasure to call upon our Consul General, Mr. Moeen al -Haq. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Honorable Senator Mubina Jafar, Deputy Leader of Opposition Barbara, Members of Parliaments, Members of BC Legislature, Your Worship, Mayor of Coquitlam Richard Stewart, City Councillors, School Trustees, Presidents of Pakistani Community Associations, Presidents BCMA, Community Leaders, Representatives of Media, City of Surrey and RCMP officials, all stall vendors, distinguished guests, visitors and children. Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sasari akal, and good afternoon. On behalf of the Pakistan Festival Organizing Committee, it is indeed an honor for me to welcome you all to Pakistan Festival 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, as we gather here today to commemorate the independence of Pakistan, a colossal tragedy is unfolding in our country following the unprecedented floods that have caused havoc and widespread destruction across Pakistan. This national disaster is of scale and magnitude that people of Pakistan have never seen before. Hundreds of people have perished in these titanic flood waves and millions, millions have been displaced, losing their homes and livelihoods. Entire villages have been wiped out, crops and livestock have been destroyed, roads, bridges and communication infrastructure stands badly damaged. So ladies and gentlemen, I humbly request all of you who are present here, please pause for a moment, stop your activities and observe a moment of silence in memory of those who lost their lives in this tragedy. Thank you. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, whenever there has been a natural disaster in Pakistan, the people of Pakistan had faced those calamities and battled its adverse consequences with resilience, patience, and courage. Even today, their struggle in the wake of these worst floods in the history of Pakistan remains heroic. We dedicate this entire event, this 2010 Pakistan festival, to the memory and in the remembrance of those who lost their lives in this tragedy. Our heartfelt condolences to the families who lost their loved ones. May God Almighty Bless the departed souls and they rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, this festival has been possible through tireless and dedicated efforts of many in the last six months. All credit for this great event goes to the wonderful members of the Pakistan Festival Organizing Committee representing Pakistani associations in the mainland. And of course, they will be introduced later, later in the day here. Thank you, Raza, for your kind words. I am just a very ordinary person. I am doing. I have been doing my bit here to serve my community and my country. I think it was a show of unity, <coughs> discipline and faith which we have never seen before. And I won't want to forget the wonderful services of the Volunteer Corps 
who are spread around this, this grant, who are indeed the backbone of this festival. Let us give them a big applause. <laughs> On behalf of the festival committee, I would also like to express our gratitude to National Foods of Pakistan, who are the title sponsor of this event. Thank you, Shamim, wherever you are here. Thank you so much for coming forward and supporting our community in a big way. I would also like to thank I would also like to thank the major sponsors, Fruit Experts Inc., Corporated, Chapal Tea, Pakistan Canada Motors, who, who have very graciously sponsored our raffle draw uh, in this event and work our foods. We cannot forget our media sponsors, CTTV, Omni, Red FM, and RJ1200. We appreciate their partnering with us for this event and for helping us to raise funds for the flood victims. Many thanks to all the sponsors and all the supporters of this event. This would not have been possible without your generous support. I would also like to thank all the vendors who have come and joined us this, this, in this event festival. We would like to apologize for a delay, but it was, I, would, I think they would understand that it was because of the, of the, the rains that we had last night. Once again, thank you for joining us today to celebrate our freedom and to share our national grief and to be part of this fundraising effort for the flood victims of Pakistan. Thank you very much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. Honorary Council, Council General, honored guests, my political colleagues, organizers, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters. We all know today we are here to celebrate the independence of Pakistan. On behalf of the Senate of Canada and my colleague Salma, the new senator, I want to convey to all of you my best wishes for a happy Independence Day. One of the greatest things about Canada is our diversity. We are comprised of individuals from various nations, cultures, and traditions that define what this country is really about. And I know you will all agree with me that while Canada is our home, we must never forget where we came from. And I believe that it is the right of all Canadians to remember their personal histories of who they are and where they come from. The Pakistani Canadian community is no different. You have a right not only to come together in celebration, but I also think a responsibility to educate your Canadian fellow citizens on our traditions and culture. We know that Canadians are an open society and always eager to learn more about other cultures that exist amongst us. But in all our minds, in the midst of this festivity, our festivity, as the Consul General said, is marred. The recent floodings that have taken place in Pakistan are very much in our minds. The devastation has been horrendous, affecting millions of people, killing almost 1,100 people and contributing to significant damages. As we know, this is the worst flooding that has taken place in a country in over 80 years. Even though unanticipated and so close to your, our Independence Day celebration, I know you will all agree that the floodings need our attention. And I ask, and I know many people will ask of you to contribute more and more to help our brethren. But I today am standing in front of you and going to ask something very different from you. And that is that as a Canadian, we are politically active 
in Canada, but we have humanitarian work to do all over. You heard from Akhtar just now, and you know, Akhtar, I have seen Human Kalisan International's work in Darfur. They do tremendous work where nobody else goes. So you heard his plea. To all of you, I am pleading that you contact your, your own members of parliament and ask them to ask our government to play a very important role in helping our brethren in Pakistan. As Canadians, we have a right to demand of our country that our country be there for our brothers and sisters. So you're giving up this whole day today. And so this evening, I ask you to write a letter to the, to the Prime Minister of Canada that you, as Canadians, expect our government to do more. And on this day, and on this day as Canadians, we truly live in a land of privilege. And so let us not fail to be Canadians and not forget our brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. I'm so honored to be here today amongst you. Uh, as uh, you have been told, we are the first organization that uh, was able to deliver aid on the ground to the victims in Naushara particularly, especially because we have our base in Peshawar, Pakistan. This community through CPA has been very generous during the South Asia quake, where we were able to raise over one and a half million dollars and provide aid to the victims, not only in Kashmir, but Mansara, Balakot, and so on. Currently, we are providing aid to the victims in Naushera, uh, Pabbi, Charsada, and uh, Karba, Heri, and Swat. Uh, we have a staff of over 100 in, uh, based in Peshawar. We are providing medical aid. We are providing cooked food to the victims as well as dry food. We plan to raise at least a million dollars during uh, this month of Ramadan, and we hope we will be able to, to make uh, our target. And uh, we will be extending our activities, relief activities, to cover uh, shelter items, uh, medical supplies, and so on. During the uh, past crisis, our national airline, PIA, was uh, very supportive, and they airlifted huge, massive medical aid packages on our behalf, and we are putting a half million dollar medical aid package together, which we hope that we will be able to have airlifted through the help of PIA. Thank you very much, and I'm sure you will be very generous as you were in the past and donate for this cause, which has affected more than 14 million people. Thank you very much.